towards the tent tonight? I'll be there. She'll be fine. Well, tell Morales is being handled. Until then, redirect the shipment. Thank you. What? Your sister. Where's AJ? He's not here. Oh, he was. Is he all right? He, he left on his own, if that's what you're asking. I didn't throw him out. My men didn't lay a hand on him. You promised me that you would stay out of this, but you couldn't, could you? Did you tell him? Does he know that my night job is stripping? First of all, I didn't ask AJ to come here. He, he turned up at my door to return my jacket. He said he found stuffed in a closet. So he figured maybe I paid you a visit and he told me never to come back. Did you tell him that I work at the Oasis? No. Sonny, it would ruin my life if you did. Yeah, what life? You're running around in circles telling lies on top of lies to justify staying with a parasite who's living off your money and waiting for you to clean up his messes. He never asked me to do this, okay? And it would kill him if he found out. Do you, do you uh, hear so? You just admitted AJ's weak. He cannot give you a life. He, How many times is. can I... By stripping? Is that what, that's the kind of life you want? You know why? He's, the only reason you're stripping is because your so-called husband is too pathetic to pay for his mistakes. I am supporting the man that I love. I told you, I will, I will take care of Coleman. I'll give him the money. God, what else? I'll I don't do... want to owe you. Okay, I don't want you thinking that you can control me. God, obviously, I would rather take off my clothes for money than to ask you for help. You're not, you're not asking. I'm offering. No, you know, I made the choice that I could live with. Yeah, I know. You make choices. I, you know, just like I make mine. You know why I chose this life? Do you know why I am who I am? I never want anybody to touch me or the people I care about. And you keep letting Coleman jerk you around. You, you know what you're doing? You're letting him spit in my face. Oh, God, Sonny, this is... Everything is just not about you, okay? And this particular thing is about me making sacrifices for my marriage. The man that I love, I am keeping my husband out of jail. God, haven't you ever made sacrifices for someone that you love? Do you really love him, though? Come on. Huh? Do you really love him or are you just afraid because you, you made a mistake that is spiraling out of control? Okay, you know what? I, I, I don't know how long I can sit on this. No, 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 you promised me that you well, would stay out of you, this. Yeah, but you know what? I've been thinking no. about it and I, I've no, had a lot of time. you promised me. I know I promised you. You promised me that you would let me deal with this in my own way, that you wouldn't get involved and you wouldn't interfere. You, I, God, you have to keep that promise, I Sonny. I don't know if I can. You know, you know, don't mind us. We're just gonna, um, we'll go set up in the kitchen for dinner. Come on. No, no, I'm, I'm leaving. As a matter of fact, I'm late. Okay, what happened? <sighs> huh? AJ showed up here, uh, telling me to stay away from Courtney because I'm not safe to be around, and then Courtney showed up scared to death that I was going to tell her husband what she does at night to pay for his debt. Now, she, she, you know, she wasn't afraid for herself or what being married to AJ has turned her into. She was crying because she's afraid to lose him. AJ is not worth it. Sonny, um, one day AJ is going to cross the line, okay? And Courtney will figure it out. She's going to see all the lies, and this will all be over. No, not for Courtney. There's no way to take away, you know, all the pain AJ's done to her. He's only going to bring her more pain. How's this for payback? I used to own a strip joint, right? And now my only sister is taking off her clothes to keep her worthless, drunken husband 
out of jail. You know, Courtney's gonna be okay. She is. And even though she doesn't know it yet, she is very, very lucky to have you in her life. Because how many people get to say they've got a real-life guardian angel watching over them? Hmm? Making sure they're protected. Sunny. Yeah. <sighs> you know, having bad taste in men, it's kind of like a, a rite of passage for mm. girls. You know, it's how we learn. And you may get your heart broken, but you survive. So will Courtney. If I wasn't Courtney's brother, AJ would have left her alone. Okay, you know what? She could have made it easier on herself, too. She could have told AJ w what, what this slime club owner was doing. She deserves this mess? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, no. Oh, Sonny. I thought that's no, 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 Sonny, listen to me. I'm just <laughs> saying you cannot be responsible for the choices other people make. Courtney is in this situation because she ignored good advice, and she decided she was going to marry this screw-up anyway. Okay, he messed up, and this is how she's trying to fix it. Hey, honestly, I do believe that it's going to turn out okay. It's going to work itself out. Yeah, yeah. Dinner's ready. We'll be eating in the kitchen. Okay, we'll be right there, buddy. Okay. Hey. What? Don't worry about Courtney, okay? Jason's watching her. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay? Are you taping? Yep, I'm taping. <laughs> Come on, work this time. Whoa. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hey. Hi, I came by to pick up Brian. Come on, honey, let's get your things together. Oh. You know, th there must be some mix-up on the time Brian just got here. You know, the nanny set up this play date. I hadn't realized that you and Michael had moved back in with your husband. Brian won't be coming here again. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Hey, Brian. Thanks for coming by. We'll see ya. Bye. Bye. Why not to leave? Did I do something bad? No need for any weapons. Looks like you got me surrounded. No, I understand you have something I want. Sweetheart, you didn't do anything wrong. Then why did Brian have to leave? Why doesn't Brian's mommy like it that we're living with Daddy now? Well, sweetie, you know what? It is too bad, but Brian's mommy, she doesn't like Daddy. Why? Did they have a fight? No, sweetie, you know, um, Brian's mommy doesn't even know your Daddy, and she is making a mistake, like a lot of people do, and she's judging him without knowing him. Why? Michael, your daddy is a very powerful man. He has a lot of money. And more importantly, he is in charge of a lot of people. And they do what he tells them to. Like Max and Johnny? That's right. Max and Johnny do what daddy tells them to. And so do all the workers in his warehouse and on the island where we go sometimes. And, um... You know, they all, they all work for Daddy, and doing what he wants is just part of their job. But what's Daddy's job? I assume you're here to open negotiations. I have no interest in doing business with you. Well, you went to a lot of trouble to get my attention. You bankrolled that snitch to Luca to come after me. You blew up my warehouse, you interfered with my business. Why would I bother? Well, you tell me. You moved Roy against me, now you got him going after Jax. That can't be good for your... Real business. People buy arms from you, they, they like discretion. And they're based in uh, Europe, right? You're well informed. Yeah. I make it a point to know everything about the people who make trouble for me. Oh, I can assure you. Right. You don't know everything about me. 
Well, what I do know is uh, there is nothing for you here. Go back to Europe. Take Roy with you if you need a little errand boy. But you're not going to be comfortable here, and you're not going to be successful. You need to understand who you're dealing with, Mr. Corinthos. You take off your well-tailored suit. There's just a soldier from Bensonhurst in over his head. Now I'm going to make you a one-time offer. Disappear now, while you still can. I guess this concludes our negotiation. I made you an offer to walk away. You refused. The next move is mine. He's acting like he has leverage against you. Find out what it is. There's two businesses. One is casinos. You know, it's where people... They, uh, play those games and they try and win a lot of money. What's wrong with that? Well, nothing's wrong with that, sweetheart. And nothing is wrong with your daddy's other business, either. You know how, um, grown-ups like to drink coffee? Yeah. Well, coffee, um, it doesn't come from this country. Coffee grows on a plant that grows in a country where it doesn't get cold in the winter, I think. Anyway, um, what your daddy does is he buys coffee from those countries and the people, they stick them on a ship and they ship them over here into the Port Charles Harbor and then the people who work for your daddy, they take it off the ship, they put it in the warehouse and your daddy sells it to stores. A lot of stores. And that makes daddy powerful? Yes, sweetheart, it's, it's more than just what your daddy owns. Okay, he is, he's a very smart man and he's... He's very good at getting people to do what he wants. And sometimes people get jealous because of it and they say bad things about him. They're wrong. Daddy's good. He's the best dad in the world. You know what? You were right about that. He is the best dad in the world. And you know what? He's the best husband. And no matter what anybody thinks, it is up to you and it's up to me to tell him that every chance we get. Okay? Okay. What does Alcazar have on him? What does he mean? He's got something I, I want. Hey, look, it could be a bluff. He was talking Roy. Who knows what Alcazar tells Roy to get him to cooperate? Okay, come here. Right here. That's his yacht, the one with the Zephyr alongside it. He's asking me to come after him. You think it's a trap? No, I think, I think Alcazar, he's bluffing. He, he's under so much pressure that he wants me to back off for whatever reason. But you know what, as long as I don't move, the pressure's just gonna get worse for Mr. Alcazar. And desperate people make mistakes. Even the memory of him. Somebody else just walked in. Let me see. There's no one visible. They must have just walked out. Did you get a... Look at anybody. No, it, was just, it was just Alcazar. I didn't see them on his face. All right, I want you, I want you to find out everything you can about her. I want you to get a photo. Maybe she can be useful in dealing with this Alcazar. Now, it, it, as long as he's making it easy, we'll keep surveillance on him and his yacht at all times. I want to know everything there is to know about this guy. I want his weaknesses. I want his schedule. I want to know what he wants so we can take it from him. Okay, it's almost ready here. Hey, Michael. So, are you still upset about what happened with, um, Brian's mommy? I'm just coming up with ways to tell Daddy how much we love him. Yeah? 
Well, any of them you want to share with me? Huh? Oh, you hold that thought, okay? Here. Hello. Oh, hey, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. This time I want to redo the guest bedroom. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hang on one second. Hey, Michael, I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, I've got some colors already in mind, and I've got some um, paint samples upstairs. Yeah. It's me, Michael. I just wanted to tell you how much I love you, and I'm glad that you're my daddy. Hey, Michael, since Letitia's not back yet, I need you to run an errand with me, okay? We need to go to the paint store, and we're going to meet the painter there, and we're going to pick out some colors. Sound good? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look, as there is a professional, he definitely knows how to protect himself. Well... This man's pushing this. He's pushing me. He thinks I won't end it? Watch. He comes to hurt me, I'll hurt him back. If he comes after me again, I will send that boat to the bottom of the harbor with him in it. This man came after me. I don't even, I don't even know why. I mean, I didn't go looking for this, but I tell you what, I'll do what I gotta do to protect what's mine. You want me to take care of it? Hey, 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 hey. What's up? I'll, uh, I'll wait for your call. Jason, do What's you up? and Daddy, you want to, um, play with my new robot? You know what? I'll come back later to play with you. Okay? All right. So, did you and your buddy have a good time? Brian's mommy said he can't come here anymore. You know, it was just a change of plans, and, um, you know, we went to the paint store instead, and I really could use your opinion on a couple of them. Wanna, wanna see? Come on. I'll be right back. comes after me again, I will send that boat to the bottom of the harbor with him in it. Michael. Uh. Hey. Hey. What you doing? Nothing. No? Listen, Michael. Um, I know why you're upset. You do? Yeah, I, um, I told your dad what happened today. Your friend had to go home, and his mother came and took him home? Yeah. Okay, um, I want you to be clear on something. This had nothing to do with you. It's about me. Me and Brian were having fun. I know, Brian's your friend, but you know what? His mother has ideas about me, and, uh, I can't change that. You wouldn't do anything bad, would you, Daddy? Hey, of course, your father would never do anything bad. Okay? You're... Look, Brian's mommy just doesn't know your daddy, and if she did, she'd know he's a very good person. Aren't you going to say hi to Jason? Look. Hey. Hey. All right, we're going to let you go, because you guys have some business. No, no, it can wait. Discuss. Michael is more important. Well, of course he's more important, but Michael's fine, right? And he understands that Brian's mommy made a mistake, right? Yeah. You got something on our... European friend in the harbor? Yes, I do. Okay, get... Gotta go, but I'll, I'll come back. You gotta go? Yeah, I gotta go, but I, you know what? When I get back, you can show me how to use that, uh, what, what, what is that? Giant robot. Giant robot. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> 
atmosphere. You still upset? Something still bothering you? You know, you can tell me. It's all right. Are there boats in the harbor? Well, yeah, there's boats at the pier. Like when we go and take a ride on your daddy's speedboat. What happens if a boat sinks? Well, hopefully everyone's got a life preserver on. What if they don't? What if... What? The boat goes down to the bottom of the harbor and the people are on it. Sweetie, are you worried about your daddy? Hmm, you worried he might be on a boat that's gonna sink? Let me tell you something, your daddy knows a lot about boats and he is very, very careful. And he's been on boats for years and years and he's never had an accident. Okay, so everything is gonna be just fine. You don't have to worry, okay? Hello? Yeah, hey, Colette. Yeah, did you get the fabric for the guest room? Oh, you know, I'm not real into plaid. No, um, I'm gonna be right upstairs, okay? Uh-oh, no, 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 I have some just on my swatches. Let me tell you what I like, okay? Some time to answer some questions for me? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Hi. Hi. Um, I understand you overheard a conversation between Roy DeLuca and a man named Alcazar? Yeah, that's right. Okay, I need you to tell me everything Alcazar said. He's a dangerous man, and I don't want him hurting anybody I care about. I'm sorry that took so long. How about we play with you? Michael! Michael, you know you're supposed to ask before you go in the kitchen and make a snack. Michael! He says he has something I want more than anything? Yeah, that's right. Nothing more? No specifics? Mm-mm, that's it. Can you think back? Was he talking about money? Uh, well, to me, it sounded like something more personal. Okay, something that I want, huh? Was it a person? Yeah, maybe a person. Nothing else? Nothing, you know, no comments, nothing you could... No, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could be more helpful, but that's it. No, no, you were. Thank you. Not much to go on? Well, if Alcazar is talking about a person in my life, that means he could be going after my family. Michael! Michael! I've looked everywhere. He's gone. He's gone. How could you let him get out? It's not the way to get the mail. You aren't paid to get the mail. You are paid to protect us. Why weren't you watching? It was only a moment, Carly. Do you know things are dangerous, Sonny? Told you that. You knew it. Oh, my God. What if somebody took Michael? Look, I'll search the building. No. No, you call Ben. You call him right now. Get on the phone with him. You tell him I want every single one of Sonny's men looking for him. Oh, my God. If somebody hurt my son, no, no, he's probably just hiding somewhere. No, he's not. Something's wrong. I feel it. Where's the pier? Are you lost? Hey, Michael, how are you doing? It's okay, I know him. Do you know this man? Yes, I do. Thank you. Hey, it's good to see you. I have to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? I, I know where the pier is. I just want to help. What, why do you have to get to the pier? I have to find my dad. We heard some more.
We have the first surveillance photos, okay? Now, from what we can tell, he's got a standard crew. He's got three or four bodyguards. Okay, like, like I said, I want him under surveillance at all times. I'm gonna move the boats in the area. That way we can, you know, you can watch him from the okay, water too. we gotta cover. I, I can't take any chances with Alcazar. If he's coming after me through my family, then we gotta, we gotta bring him down now. Okay. All right, here we go. Yep. Alcazar. All right. One of his couriers. Right. One of his men. Right. What? The woman. What? You got a, you got a picture of her face? that I want. It's not her. Maybe what he has isn't a person. Well, from what Elizabeth heard Alcazar say, and the way he said it, this isn't about money. And I'm not an art collector. I don't have any possessions I care about that would give him any leverage. So this is about a person, somebody I love. That's who Alcazar is going to use against me. Now, the only people that I care about are what? Um... Carly, Michael, you, Mike, Courtney. And you guys are all accounted for. Hey. Michael, who, uh, who's Sonny gonna hurt? Maybe we can stop it before it happens. You don't even like my daddy. You think he's bad. I can't lie to you, Michael. I do think he's bad. He is, especially for you. You're a liar. No, Michael, I'm not lying. I'm your father. My father is Sonny Corinthians. My son. You are, no matter what your mommy and Sonny say. And soon you'll be, be old enough to figure things out yourself. Maybe it's time you knew the truth about Sonny. You didn't find him? No. Well, did you check the atrium, the, the, the stairwell, maybe the basement? You know, maybe he found his way into Jason's we apartment we, somehow. We checked the whole building. Michael's not here. Well, where's Sonny? Why isn't he answering his cell phone? I sent someone to find him to tell what happened. How does somebody just walk in here and take him? I mean, what is the point of all the security if someone could just walk in off the street and take my child? Oh, Carly, nobody would mess with Sonny's kid. He probably just wandered off. You know what? I just got a phone call, and there was someone on the line, and they wouldn't say anything. What if they have Michael? Sonny and your, your mommy, well, they haven't been very honest with you for a long time. That's because they don't want you to remember me. But I bet you could if you tried. You and your mommy, you used to live with me. You know, big brick house, we had a lake. We'd all go down to the lake together and, and, and your mommy and I would, would take you swimming. Do you remember that? You don't take me swimming, my daddy does. Leave me alone. Okay. Michael, does anyone know you're down here? I mean, you really shouldn't be here alone. How about I take you home, okay? No, I have to phone my daddy. Michael, hey, Michael, wait. All right, well, we'll keep the surveillance going around the clock, see who else we can spot out there. Good. Alcazar knows you're watching him. 
So he's going to be careful. It may take some time. His pictures are useless. Okay, wait a minute. I told you, right? Yeah. I want you to get a, uh, find out who she is. Okay. Get a, a, a photo. I want a name, a face. She could be one of Algasar's weaknesses. A way to get to him. Now, he says he's got something that I want. Well, we're just going to find out what he wants. And take it. I'm not policing you. How long has he been gone? I don't know. Two hours, maybe. I was, I was upstairs on the phone. I was talking to the decorator, and when I came down, he was gone. And then I got a phone call, and someone, they didn't say anything on the other line. What if they have Michael? Okay, what calm, calm down. We're going to find Michael. We just got to figure out if, if he left on his own or if somebody took him. Now, he, he, he was upset, right? That he, he, was, he, was, he couldn't play with his friend, his mother... Took the friend, right? Yeah, Did he say anything about that? No, I thought he was fine. I explained it to him and why Brian had to go, and he seemed to understand. He asked about boats. He was afraid you were going to drown. What exactly did he say? I don't know, something about, about the harbor, something about were, were there boats in the harbor and what would happen if one sank, what, what would happen to the people on it, would they die? That's what he said, if the yeah, boat sank? Yeah, like, what, what if it went down to the bottom of the harbor? Oh, God. What? What is it? Um. What, Sonny, Jason what? and I, we... We were discussing something, right? And you guys came through the door, yeah. right? Yeah. I came over here. What? I sat down. Michael! It's just me. Sonny's not here, okay? I thought I told you to leave me alone. Hey, I just, I just want to take you home, all right? I don't want to go home. Daddy's coming here. Okay. Then, uh... How about we wait together, huh? I'm sorry if I scared you. Maybe you could tell me why you think Sonny would be down here. I mean, did you hear something? Did, did you see something that, that made you think that Sonny was going to hurt someone here? Daddy doesn't hurt people. I know you want to believe that, Michael. I know you do. It's hard to think that people you care about would hurt people. I think he does. Michael, he does. Sonny hurts people. I just wanted to show you how much I love you, and I'm glad that you're my daddy. Hey, Michael, since Letitia's not back yet, I, need I took him to the paint store. He put the camera down, but he didn't, sh he didn't shut it up. after me again, I will send that boat to the bottom of the harbor with him in it. He, he must have um, played it back when we came home. He heard me, now he's afraid. It's gonna hurt you more if your mother keeps pretending that Sonny is some kind of nice guy. He's not. Now, he would never hurt you. Ever. But... Sonny doesn't know, treat other people the way he treats you. How do you know? I just do. But Sonny... 
He's like the bully in school, you know? He, he, he takes what he wants without asking. You know? He doesn't, he doesn't ask for anything. He doesn't share. And... Makes people sad. Except Sonny. And if you try to stop Sonny from taking money... Hey, Michael, Michael, that's when she can get hurt. Hey, what's up, buddy? Everybody's looking for you. Your mom and dad are both worried about you. They asked me to come bring you home. Yeah, well, he doesn't want to go home. That's what you, that's what you just said, right? Don't do this, AJ. What? Yeah. Michael's got questions I gotta answer, so why don't you just go back, report to your boss, and then let me and my son finish our conversation, okay? Tapes erased. Too bad it won't come out of Michael's head that easy. Okay, um, we can explain something to him, you know. He, he's really too young to understand. No, he understands enough. That's why he asked you if, if people die when boats sink. Because he saw what he saw and he got scared and he ran away. Let's not fool anybody. <sighs> Hello? Jason, where are you? Elm Street Pier. Michael's here. He's okay. Okay, thank God. Uh, Jason's with Mike. All right, uh, go ahead, bring him home. Uh, you know, AJ's here, and he says Michael doesn't want to come home, so it wouldn't be a good idea if you guys came down and got him. All right, we'll, we'll be right there. What's going on? Are we going? Michael's at the Elm Street Pier, right? Uh, he, AJ's with him, and he's claiming that Michael doesn't want to come home. What? Your mom and dad are on their way. Good. Do it. Do it, Jason. Tell him the truth. Tell him that his real father's standing right here, right now. And that Sonny's nothing more than a man who well, stole this him. Is a, this is a little confusing, I know, but the important thing is that you're okay. And I'm here with you, okay? okay. And as soon as your mom and dad get here, you get to go home. You get to go home? The home you gave him? The better life that justified you stealing my son and handing him over to a criminal? Go ahead, Jason. Go ahead. Why don't you teach my son the concept of fatherhood? Um, a father is someone who loves you more than anything in the world. Who would do anything for you. Who thinks of you before anything or anybody else. And a father teaches you things and protects you and will never treat you like he owns you, Michael, like, like you're a thing that belongs to him. And a father would never, ever make you afraid. A father shows you every day how much he loves you. Isn't that what Sonny does? Yes. That's why he's your dad. Did you steal me? Well, um, hmm. A long time ago, when you were little, probably too little to remember, I promised you that you would always be loved and you would always have the best dad in the world, and you do. Oh, yeah. Is that where the... Is that why Michael's down here in the middle of the night, Jace? Looking for the best dad in the world? And trying to stop him from hurting people? Huh? Didn't you, Jace? Huh? Michael would finally find out who you and Sonny really are. You're men that hurt people for a living. Oh, go ahead. Deny it. Lie to the kids some more. You want the truth? Sonny's the best man I've ever met. And he's the best father you could ever have. A father by day, racketeer by night. I bet you'd tell Michael that he's a businessman, right? What about you? What about you, Chase? What euphemisms do you use to cover up what you do? Enforcer? Hitman? 
What do those words mean? Never mind. Jason doesn't want you to know. Is that right, Jace? You have the guts to tell the kid who you really are. But you and Sonny kill people. You're in the business of making people die. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. I was so worried. Oh, don't you ever, ever run off like that again. She's right, Michael. You had us very, very worried, okay? Okay. Are you a bad man? Well, of course he's not a bad man. You know that. He said that you make people die. Do you, Daddy? make people die? Michael, AJ is not a nice man, okay? I want you to listen to him because whatever he's going to tell you is going to be lies. Tell me, Daddy. Okay, listen to me. I'm going to tell you. I promise. But not here, not now. When? Later. Right now, I got some things I gotta take care of. You go home with your mom, okay? You promise? I have crossed my heart. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. Did you see that look in that boy's eyes? Confusion and pain you put there? Every word I said was true. He's a child, AJ. My child. My child. Do you have any idea what I could do to you right now? Right here? With only Jason to witness? Peace and blow me away. Do it. Do it. Prove me right. And then I want you to go back to my son with my blood on your hands and you explain what you do. You know what, AJ? When you get home tonight, you should get on your knees and thank God you live to see another day. I should kill you for the damage you caused here tonight. You hurt a little boy for your own selfish need to get back at me and Carly. Now, you're gonna pay for that. I should shoot you, but I'm not gonna give you that victory. There are more ways than one to kill a man. Now, you talk about family like, like you know any idea what that word means. Huh? You know nothing. Your eyes should be opened. And I'm gonna do that for you, but right now, I'm gonna go and do the damage you did to my little boy. So what is that? That's uh, what mob talk for what, Jason? You'll find out soon enough. Come here, Michael. You scared me to death. I'm sorry. Honey, you can't do that. You cannot just walk out of here on your own. You are a little boy, and the world is not always a safe place. You cannot go walking around on the docks by yourself. I don't want me. But I thought Daddy was going to hurt someone, and I had to stop him. Come here. Come here. Mommy, does Daddy kill people? Oh, baby, you are, you are so young. I, I couldn't imagine 
thinking these things when I was your age. You know what, Daddy has a very dangerous job and sometimes he has to defend himself. Like a policeman? Yeah, kind of like a policeman. Carly? I guess. Why were you on the pier? I didn't want you to hurt anybody. I was scared. But I knew you'd listen to me. Because you know how much I love you. You never forget that, okay? I won't. Okay, you asked me a question. All right? And I'm going to try to answer it in a way that you understand. I'm not sure I can do that in one sitting, but I'm going to try, okay? Uh, I've, done some, I've done some things that I'm not very proud of, okay? I've made decisions that have uh, affected other people. Um, and sometimes not in a very good way, okay? I'm not perfect, Michael. Nobody is. only way a human being can um, achieve perfection in this life is through the quality of love that they give and love that they receive. And that I am blessed and honored and I will protect that love till I die. Okay, Daddy. Okay, and I think that's enough talk tonight, so I want you to run upstairs and get in your PJs. Come on. I'll be up in a minute to kiss you goodnight, all right? Okay. Okay. I know what that just cost you. Michael's not going to be part of my business. I, I will never touch it. I knew one day he was going to come to me and I had to be... I'd have to tell him the truth. That, you know, these are my choices, not his. He can have whatever kind of life he wants. There's no blood on his hands and there never will be. Sonny, you can still tell him that years from now when he's old enough to understand. What about now when the confusion, the look on his face? He's asking me. If I kill people, who says that to a kid? Damn, AJ. Sonny? He is going to pay. He is going to pay. And that's all I got to say. What are you going to do? And I don't want you trying to talk I me out of it. I am not going to talk you out of it. Hear me. Okay? I don't want you to spare that pig. I want you to hurt AJ. I want you to hurt him. Everything AJ said to him. Okay, um, well, when I found them, AJ was telling Michael that you were selfish. Right. That when you wanted something, you took it, and you hurt anyone who tried to stop you. What about the part about killing people? Okay, I, I didn't want to fight with AJ. I tried not to speak to him at all. I was just telling Michael he's going to be okay until you and Carly can come and get him and take him home. Sonny, why, why was he even down here? AJ claims that Michael was trying to stop you from hurting people or... Carly left the video camera out, accidentally left it on. There was a tape of us talking about Alcazar, remember? But Michael played it back and he came down here to stop me from sinking the boat. Is he okay? Well, I mean, what do you say to a kid who, 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 whose father... He just found out his father's a criminal. I mean, 
who sinks boats and makes people die. I try to explain to him that I love him and that, you know, the reason I, I hurt people is to protect, you know, what belongs to me. But that's not his choice. It's mine. I should have just told him that AJ lied and made the whole thing up. No. It would have been a lot easier no, if I did. If you, if you lied to him, what would you say to him in five years, ten years? You're his father. He needs to know he can trust you to be honest with him. You were his father before. You did everything you could to protect that kid. You, you trusted me to do the same. And you have. I, you know what? I'm careful. I'm always careful. I mean, I don't, I don't raise my voice if, if, if Michael's around. I, I don't, you know, I don't talk business unless I know he's upstairs with the door locked or he's out of the house. I don't want him in this business. You know that. I don't want anything to touch him. This was an accident. And, and AJ just wants to mess with the kid's head. He wants Michael afraid of me. It, it didn't work. You see how happy Michael was? You see his face when he saw you and Carly? He loves you. Come on, AJ proved tonight he's not Michael's dad. He gave it his best shot. He told Michael his version, his side of the story, how bad you are, how good he is. It doesn't matter. Michael couldn't get away from him fast enough. Recording's working tonight. Yeah. You're supposed to be Gardner. for a little ride. Oh, get away. Hold on. You say family means a lot to you? You love Courtney so much? I'm gonna show you what you've done to your wife. Until you got home, make sure you were okay. Didn't quite make it, did you, Mr. Man? He's had a long day. We all have. I'll take him up. Get your hands off me! Okay, 
Go, go upstairs. No, 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 no. I got something to say to AJ first. Let him in, Johnny. How long did you okay, know? Okay, keep it How long did you know my wife was stripping? My son was upstairs. If you don't keep your voice down, you're gonna leave. You knew for weeks, didn't you, Sonny? You let my wife degrade herself just waiting for the right moment to shove it in my face? No, your wife is stripping because she wants to keep you out of jail because here, you were driving here. drunk, because you are too weak and pathetic to take care of your own mistakes. You know, you are no man, AJ, and you're never going to be. You break my son's heart for revenge? I told him the truth. No, you hurt him so you could get back at yeah, me. Yeah, and who let him out in the middle of the night roaming the pier? Huh? Who couldn't keep him at home? And who started this whole thing by lying to people about my little boy? You caused this whole thing. And now my wife is supposed to pay for it? No, Courtney is paying because of you, AJ. You know what? You are the one that should be up on that stage stripping. The slut that you are. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. You have anything else to say to him? Yeah. You're never gonna hurt my son again. Ever. All right, first of all, when I found out Courtney was stripping, I asked her to stop. She refused because she wanted to honor the deal to protect... What do you mean? You expect me to believe that? For all I know, Sonny, you owned it and you were pimping her out. Is it worth it? Is it really worth it just to see the look on my face? You think I hurt your little boy, my little boy. So now you destroy your sister? What is this, some kind of a, a code of honor thing? I showed you the truth, AJ. You want the truth? The truth is yeah, what I what? told Michael. What's that? You kill people. Okay. You ruin people's lives, Sonny. If Courtney is ruined, it's because of you. I used to run a strip club. dance for me always had reasons some would break your heart but no woman who ever worked for me stripped to keep her husband out of prison that's how much my sister loves you I love Courtney too Sonny but you can't handle that is that how you show your love by marrying a woman under false pretenses by trying to trade, trying to trade Michael on your, on your wedding night? You have her waiting tables to pay your rent? And then you drive drunk with her beside you. I told her not to get in the car with me, but she wouldn't listen. But you drove away anyway. And other people have to pay the price. Like Jason. Like Michael. Look, I would never deliberately hurt Courtney. Not like you just did. Oh, yeah, you would. Oh, would I? Yeah. You just, you just don't admit it. You hurt her the night you married her. You hurt her when you drank. You hurt her when you slammed your car into that strip joint. I didn't know she you had... Shut you. up. You have failed... Courtney, in every way, a husband can fail a wife. Don't say a word. And 
I want you, every time you look at Courtney, I want you to remember that she's stripping, and I want you to remember why. It's gonna be like something, you know, there forever, like a, like a, like a, like an invisible wall between you and Courtney. Courtesy of Sonny Corinthos. Hey, you're, she's dancing on a stage because of you, AJ, nobody else. I didn't tell you to leave. Don't, don't, hey, wait you a know minute. What? I did not ask you to leave. You think that's funny? You think that's funny? Are you almost finished? Do you think that's funny? <clears throat> Next time you see Michael and you even think to break his heart or break his faith in his family, remember this night Stay away. Hey, you up and Courtney's gonna call? She won't. You could call her. My sister needs time. At least she won't be stripping. The oasis burned down last night. Arson? Ask Courtney's husband. AJ's going to jail is the best thing for Courtney. So you did the right thing. I hurt my sister. My sister's in pain. Right now she believes that her life is ruined. Okay, AJ is the one who ruined it. He screwed up for the billionth time. He came after our child. What choice did you have but to retaliate? AJ had to pay. Right. Mm. And you know what? Even if he hadn't come after Michael, eventually Courtney would have seen through him. You just sped up the process a little bit. Courtney doesn't see it that way. Sonny, <clears throat> you did what you thought was best, okay? And sometimes when you try and protect people, you hurt them, but you know what? People put up walls, but you just give it time and things will be okay. Excuse me. You know, once AJ is in jail, Courtney's not going to see his spin on everything. She's, she's going to find out the truth. AJ is Courtney's husband. She hates me for what I've done. She's going to get lonely, Sonny. She's going to need someone to turn to. Well, she's not going to turn to me. From where Courtney sits, all I've done is hurt her, control her, damage her husband, yeah, ruin his life. you I'm... know what a piece of slime AJ is. Well, maybe one day she, she'll know too, or maybe she won't. But at this point, what, what, what am I supposed to do? You know, Courtney is still family. That doesn't mean there's going to be a reunion anytime soon, Carly, especially with what's going on right now, you know? I mean... Hello. When? All right. I have the cart waiting. I gotta go. AJ? No.
Look, Sonny, I, I know something's wrong. So no, 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 it's fine. I can no, do for nothing, you. nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna be back. Right. Okay. Hey, Sonny, Sonny. Yep. Look, don't worry about Courtney, okay? It's, everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, Things yeah. are gonna work out. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they need a little push. Courtney, this is not what I need right now. Okay, you know, just, just one, give me a minute. Please. Look, Carly, whatever it is, I don't want to hear it, okay? AJ looked down on you, didn't he? He blames you for trying to save him, right? You are here to run him down for this thousandth time. You know time. what? I am here because I am your brother's wife. And he has a message for me? Well, thanks, I'll pass. Sonny doesn't know that I'm here, okay? What is this about? Look, we are family, like it or not, and I thought that right now you could use a friend. I don't know what to do. About AJ? I, I just don't, I don't know if, I, if I'm sad or if I'm furious. Why can't he see how much I love him? But it's over. He's gone. Did you enjoy your visit with Alcazar? You're having him watched. I just want to know if Alcazar has a new partner. Hey, please, I, just, I can't do this. Okay, just, like, just, just give it a chance. Okay, please, look, I'm not gonna lie and say that I came over here because I had some overwhelming desire to become best friends with you, okay? But I am married to your brother, which makes us family. And you know, you and I, we may not feel the ties that bind, but Sonny does. He loves you, Courtney. And I love him, and here I am. You, Sonny, and everybody else, you guys said that I was making the biggest mistake in my life. And insisted that AJ didn't really love me. But you couldn't have been right. So what's the story, Jax? I want to hear the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I don't have to justify myself to you. How did you meet up with Alcazar, huh? You were probably just candy-boying your way through Monte Carlo or whatever it is that you go. Somebody pointed to him and said, see that man over there at the back right table? Bodyguards on the other side. He sells tanks, bombs, nuclear devices to terrorists with money to pay, and you just made a, a beeline, right? So what's the plan? Because I know how much you love getting your hands dirty. You don't have any room to criticize Corinthos. And as for your paranoid ranting, there is some truth to that. Alcazar does plan to take you down. Now you can make that about how much you hate me, or you can give it a rest and help me take him down. Well, either that or stay out of my way. I don't have time to play another round of King of the Mountain with you, Corinthos. Alcazar's on my back as well. Did he contaminate your warehouse, blow it up with, with an innocent woman inside? What has Alcazar cost you so far, Jax? What I know about? Yeah. A fortune in oil drilling rights in Canada. Go ahead. Alcazar offered to return the oil site map that he stole from me. In return, I have to leave poor Charles for good. Why does he care where you live? I have no idea. Of course, I refused, and he said that that would be an unwise choice. He threatened you? Nothing so overt, but uh, I got the message. Anything else? I don't know. It depends. Are we making small talk here, or are we actually working towards a joint strategy? Well, hey, you know what? I'm still here. It's not an answer. Alcazar well, thinks he has something I want. Do you have any idea what that is? But I'm sure if we put our heads together, we can figure it out. I happen to be fairly observant, and I did see something. You mean you've learned something since you let that mad woman drive Brenda over a cliff? Yeah, we all know how brilliant you are at protecting women. Well, who have you protected? And why should I throw in with you? You can't even keep track of your own damn oil well. <laughs> you know what? I'll pass. Fine. Have it your way. What?
AJ turned his back on his grandfather. He, he left his own family to be with me. Okay. And even after the money was gone, I mean, he was, he was so happy here in this tiny little apartment. He could not have been pretending. Okay, do you think that AJ was happy be, be, because he told you so? Not just that. Carly, I saw it for myself. AJ, he was light and easy and... We laughed so much. I mean, he lit up every time that I walked into a room. Okay, Courtney, please, please don't take what I'm going to say the wrong way because I don't mean to be patronizing in any way. Okay, but how many boyfriends have you had? Okay, that's what I thought. Courtney, you know what? It takes a really long time to figure out men, and even then, we only get it half right most of the time, okay? Look, but really, if somebody's getting drunk and they're driving into walls, it's a sure sign that something is wrong. Well, I fixed it. I... That is why I was stripping Carly, I mean, to pay for the damages. And Jason said that he would fix everything else. He, he said that AJ would not have to go to jail for burning the Oasis. You know, people have been bailing AJ out all his life, and it doesn't get him to change. Oh, okay, is. Carly, you know what? You're not helping. Okay, would you just go? I need to think. But you know what, Courtney, you are thinking. You're thinking, and you have finally seen the truth, okay? AJ is going to take every sacrifice that you make to try and save him, and he is going to turn that around and use it as an excuse to take his next drink so he can go on his next binge. Courtney, you are so young, and you have so much of your life to live. I mean, being tied to AJ, is it really what you want for the rest of your life? Hey. You don't have to worry. Your sister's all right. And how do you know? Because I went to see her. You... What? <sighs> nothing, nothing, nothing. No, you, you, she spoke to you? Yeah, because yeah. she was desperate, and you know what? I tried very hard to be nice. Do you understand AJ's a monster? She's working on it. What does that mean? It means that Courtney has opened her mind to the uh, possibility that AJ is not Prince Charming. Not good enough. Sunny, it's a process, okay? It, it, she loves the creep. It's going to take her a little bit of time before she can completely turn away. You know what? It doesn't even matter because it's out of Courtney's hands anyway. AJ did her a favor by burning down the Oasis. Now he's, he's uh, arrested or he's going to be. So it's no big deal. Okay, right? Good. I'm going to make us a couple of sandwiches, okay? All right. Yeah? No. I hate sandwiches. You know that. Sorry. All right. AJ's in custody. Just, just give Jason a minute before you start interrogating him. Come on, sit, Jason. You want a drink? No. No, thanks. Look, about AJ. Can you hold that thought just for a second? Hey. Yep. Okay, you know what, Jason, Ready? this is not a good time to tell Sonny that you helped AJ in any way. Yeah, I don't have a choice. Yeah, you do. Right. He's going to hear about it anyway. He needs to hear it from me. Okay. Okay, but uh, he doesn't need to hear about it now, okay? Just don't say anything. I'll see you later. He's better at that than you. Better at what? What are, what are you guys talking about? Uh, tunnels and bridges and, you know, the electric train kind. I'll look, we got I'll look at the, the train tomorrow. I just need to talk to Sonny right now. Okay, fine. Tomorrow's good. Did, did I ask you if you wanted Carly. a drink? Okay, I'm gonna go to um, the hospital and pick up Michael's medical records for school. Right. You two have a good old time talking about all your secret business stuff that I'm not supposed to hear. Bye. What the hell was that about? Carly thinks it's the wrong time to tell you AJ's not going to jail. You mean tonight? He won't be arrested for torching the Oasis. I made the arson charge go away. Are you... Are, are you standing here telling me that the maggot who married my sister, who just messed with Michael's head, the sorry excuse for a human being who bought a decomposed corpse and passed it off as my wife the drunk who Courtney stripped for to keep out of jail. You just gave him a piece of your mind and sent him right back to my sister? Yeah. I wanted AJ gone, Jason. 
Courtney asked me to help her. Courtney? What, what, who's Courtney? What, what, what was going on in your mind? It's unacceptable. Now I'm going to try to understand. So maybe you can help me. Were you, were you, were you drunk? Asleep? In a trance? On crack? What? I had to make a quick decision. You made a quick decision to go against me. Is that your excuse? You made a quick decision to help my enemy. What, what are you talking about? I didn't, I didn't choose to go against you. I'm helping your sister. That's what you asked oh, me to so do. Oh, so if my sister wanted to jump off a skyscraper, you'd show the elevator to the roof? If she wanted to do heroin, you'd help her put she the needle on her arm? She didn't shoot up. She wanted her husband. And you think that's the right solution? It's not mine to judge. Well, who's a judge? Come on, Sonny, you know it's a mistake and a waste of time to lecture somebody on who they should love, especially after what Courtney just went through. Okay, you know what? We, you gotta understand something. Your job is to follow my orders, not to decide whether they're right or wrong. This is not the first time this has happened. I told you to make Xander disappear. You offered him a deal I did not authorize, and you didn't bother to run it past me first. This has got to stop, man. If you can't or won't do the job like you used to, you got to say so. Dr. Masoni to emergency staff. Dr. Masoni to emergency staff. Dr. Meadows is just finishing with the delivery. She'll be out in a few minutes to go over the test results. Thanks. <laughs> Alexis, is everything all right with the baby? Fine. You know, I hear that you've been taking one case after another. Do you think that's wise? Carly, you need to try to remember that every aspect of my life is none of your business. I'm just showing concern for my husband's child. I'm not afraid to talk about it, okay? We are in the best place that Sonny and I have ever been in. And you know what? I think him knowing the truth if about his baby... Is yet another plea to get me to tell Sonny you can forget it. His world will never touch my baby the way it touched my sister. Okay, you are blaming Sonny for something he... Okay, has. as always, a pleasure, Carly. Too bad you can't stay. Touch me. Second time... You've gone against one of my orders. My order was to take care of your sister and keep an AJ alive and out of jail with what Courtney wanted. So that's what I did. I took care of her. But that's not what I wanted. I wanted I wanted AJ out of Courtney's life, and you stopped that from happening. Why? Are you loyal to me or not? AJ should be in jail right now, on his way to prison for torching the Oasis. Thanks to you, he's free. Getting ready to plow my sister into another brick wall when he gets drunk again. What if she doesn't walk away next time, AJ, Jason? AJ is, is her choice. We may hate it, Sonny, and you know I don't like AJ, but nothing you can say is going to change the way your sister lives her life. What are you talking about? You were the one person I've never had to second guess. What do you mean, second guess? Well, if, I, if I told you to do something, you would do it. If I cannot trust you blind, I can't trust you at all. Are you loyal or not? How, how did this get to be about my loyalty? You gave me my first job. You taught me respect. You taught me how to be in this business. In return, I've never been anything but loyal to you. Not this time, not with Xander. Oh, come, come on. That's a low blow. You know how I feel about Elizabeth. There's nothing I haven't done for you. And the first time, the first time I go a different way and I'm trying to help your sister, you question my loyalty? This wasn't a choice. It was an order. You ordered me to take care of your sister, and that's what I did. I made sure that she was all right. It was her choice to marry AJ. To love him, to, to want to forgive him, to want to protect him. Not if it gets her killed. Sonny, we're in a business that could get you killed. Carly tried to stop you once, and it took you over a year to forgive her. You know the kind of monster AJ is. You know how much he's hurt Carly, Michael, and Courtney. I had a chance. 
to get him clear of her. That is Courtney's choice. She doesn't know any better. He's gonna, he's, he's gonna hurt her. I want her safe. Why do I keep having to justify myself to you? Okay, time out. Time, time out here, okay? You both want the same thing, okay? You both want Courtney to be happy and alive. So take a break here, okay? Because this isn't getting anywhere. And you're saying things that you don't mean. You know what? This is... Age is not worth it anyway, so... I just want to know... If I can trust you. You can trust me. Good. Um, leave Courtney and AJ alone. You're off of them. Um, we got a lot of other things that we got to deal with right now. Yeah, I agree. You know what? You're right. AJ is not worth this. So what has got you so out of control? Okay. Something's wrong because that was not like you. You know that Jason is the most loyal person in the world and especially to you. I can't really discuss this with you. Try. If, if you gave Jason an order and he didn't follow through, you know, he had a reason. I know, I know Jason's loyal. I know that, you know, and I know he believes that every person on the planet has the right to do whatever the hell they want to do. I just didn't think that he'd apply it to my sister staying with AJ. You know, you don't see it, do you? Jason saved AJ for you. What are you talking about, Carly? Sweetheart, you told me that, that if AJ went to prison, that you thought Courtney was going to blame you and that she was going to hate you for the rest of your life. At least she'd live to do it. What if AJ kills her when he drinks and drives again? You're right. You know, you should, you should, you should order Jason to grab Courtney, lock her in her room for the rest of the life. And, and if he doesn't do it, you tell him that he's disloyal. Okay, I get your point. That was kind of a cheap shot, but I'll let that go. That's, that's my point. You don't take cheap shots at Jason. Me, yes. But that's different. It's fair game because I take enough at you. Jason is different. You are not mad at him. Something else has you lashing out and angry. What is it? It's a bad time, you know? I am not, I tell you, I'm not sorry that A.J. knows that he turned my sister into a stripper. It's just that the, uh, the way I handled it humiliated her. And I hate when I push myself to do things that I, when I don't think them through. Hey, can you tell me what's got you feeling so out of control? Okay, uh, I'm gonna have, I'll tell you. I know who's coming after me. His name is Alcazar. Who is he? An arms dealer. I, I, I never met him and never did business with him. I didn't even hear his name until he set up Roy DeLuca to go against me. I, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't either, you know. Uh, a man I don't know targets targets me. Dismantles, tries to dismantle my my life. The only way you fight a man like that is to find out what he wants, why he's coming after you. I don't know, but when I find out, I'm gonna shut him down. All Xander remembers is that he. I don't know what Alcazar wants. Except to wipe me out. He sells 
weapons and ammunition on the black market. He's based in Europe, and he's targeting Jax. Jax? Jax claims that he sabotaged some big oil deal. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he's lying. Maybe they're, they're setting me up, making me think that Alcazar's going after Jax. Okay. You know, Jax, he is a backstabber, but dealing with somebody who, who, who's dealing in illegal weapons, that is not his style. Well, Jack says, he, you know, he doesn't know why the guy's going after him either. But you don't do business this way. You know, you don't target a man without going after something. Revenge to get what's his. Alcazar should be negotiating at this point. Okay, well, would it be um, bad business for you to negotiate, to call him, to contact him? Well, it him? would, if, if, you know, if it doesn't get you anything. Okay, sweetie, you know what? You're going to figure this out. I know you will. And I just want you to know that I'm here for you, for whatever you need. All I'm trying to say is this should have happened six months ago, you know that? Why? When I didn't have much to lose. Now when I think about taking risks, it makes me vulnerable. Or now, you are so much stronger because you have us. You have so much more to fight for. It's a good point. Hey, you have any regrets? Nothing. I'm just glad I got you home. You know, six months ago, I was miserable, but it's all worth it because it has led us to where we are right now. We are so strong that no one can tear us apart. Don't you agree? Hey, what do you want? A kiss would be nice. <laughs> I think I found the perfect fabric for the upstairs couch. Someone going somewhere? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You and Michael are gonna go to the island until this thing with Aquazar is done. Okay, I got four words for you, Sonny. No way in hell. Fighting about this. Great. Then you can take my luggage back upstairs and we'll uh, call it a temporary lapse of sanity. This is happening whether you want it or not. I'm sorry, are you confusing me with, with my suitcases? Because you can take them wherever you want to because they're possessions. They don't have feelings, they don't have opinions of their own, but I do. Sonny, you are my husband. I love you okay, and if, I am If you love me, prove it to me and do what I need. Oh, by, by, by hiding some eyes? Alcazar is coming after me. Somebody already died. I don't want you to be next. Okay, so there are other ways. The only thing I know about Alcazar, besides being dangerous and powerful, is he thinks he has something or someone I want. Who? I don't know, but you know what? Everybody I love is, is already in my life. What if Alcazar wants to take one of them? I'm not going to let that happen. I'm not going to risk losing you or Michael. Please, do what I want and go. Sorry, Xander's remembered something. You need to hear it. Letitia's upstairs with Michael. Packing. Can you help make sure everything's fine? Right. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and run along upstairs. I was just curious, though, about something. Um, how many other people are going to be joining me on the island? Um, is your father coming, Courtney? I was just curious if you're going to swoop up everyone you've ever cared about and um, make sure you can ship them off so they can be safe. Just curious. A ship, a yacht. They have you locked up, or are you free to move around? Well, I'm assuming if they tried to kill me. I'm guessing that they had me Okay, locked. you know what? I don't want guesses. I, I want facts. What specifically do you remember? Uh, I, I remember there was uh, uh, the main guy. Right. And there was another guy, and the one that followed me and Elizabeth, and he's the one that I shot. You remember anyone else? 
A friend. Uh, a friend? Uh, she was a woman. I don't know. She said she was a friend. Who, whose friend? I don't know. All I remember is the sound of her voice. Okay, did she, did she tell you her name? I don't, if she did, I don't, I don't know. Well, did, did she tell you why she was there? Was she working for Alcazar against him? What? I don't know. Well, you better work on finding it out. Otherwise, Alcazar's gonna kill you just to shut your mouth. Wait, Sonny, I, I thought we were safe here. What? Oh, you're gonna be safe when Alcazar's gone. And for that to happen, I need to know why he showed up in the first place. Xander's told us all he can. As much as I'd like to, we can't force him to remember. We'll go with what we got. Sonny? Yeah? Could I do something to you? Why do you ask? I don't know, it just seems like you don't like me. I was wondering why. You, you've made mistakes in the past. Fortunately for you, you, you got, you know, friends who are influential and persuasive. But to answer your question, yeah, you have done something to me. But now that you're giving me everything you know about Alcazar, you're also doing something for me. So if this thing goes in my favor, we're even. All debt's canceled. In the meantime, you just do what you're told and start remembering everything you can. Okay? <clears throat> is it just me who's this guy king of the world or, or is he the most phenomenal jerk you've ever met? I mean, even when he's asking a favor, he sounds like he's barking in order. I know, but that's just how Sonny is. What matters right now is he can protect us. I don't, I don't know who you may be, but me, I... Either one of those guys would sell me out in a heartbeat. You know what, I'm not gonna let him. I'd rather run. You wanna go with me? Sonny, I don't know how much more Xander's gonna be able to tell us. We can't wait. I mean, Alcazar got to know we got Xander. He's going to assume that Xander's told us something important. So Alguzar is going to make his move to protect himself. Okay. We got to move first. So let me go. Let me go out to his yacht. Okay, tonight. You go and get what he's got, what he's planning to use against me. Whatever it is, okay. if you can, you take it. You know Alguzar will retaliate. That's why I'm getting my family out here. Is Michael a t-shirt ready? Yeah, Michael's just deciding which uh, toys to take. What about you? You got everything you need? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. It's all right here. That's why I'm staying. Carly, we've been through this. Yeah, listen. I will... Send Michael away because I will not have my child. Our child in physical danger. Okay, but I'm not leaving you. This is not up for debate. Oh, is that another order? Hmm? I'm an adult, Sonny. I am all grown up. You see? Sonny, I make my own decisions. I, I have looked at the risks and I have decided to stay. Carly, will you listen to me? This isn't about, you know, whether I'm you know, treating you know, you, you could have come to me. You could have come to me, Sonny, and we could have discussed this together, but instead you were making decisions that affect my life without even bothering to tell me. Okay, so you're insulted. It's not safe here. You know what? It is not safe for you either. You're staying, Sonny. So I'm staying with you. You don't get to, to make decisions about whether I can risk my life or not. You do not get to order me not to take that chance. Okay, I'm not, I'm not ordering you right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you. Please, you need to do what I want. And go. Great time. You, your mama, Letitia on the island. Johnny's going too. He's gonna drive that boat for you anytime you wanna go out in the ocean. But I want you to be careful, okay? And you take good care of your mama because you two are the most important things in the world to me why can't you come daddy 
Well, because I got business to take care of, and uh, as soon as I'm done, I'll, uh, I'll come get you guys, okay? I wish you didn't have to work so much. <laughs> well, you know what? I wish I didn't have to work either, but, uh, you know, there are two very important reasons why I got to work as much as I do. One is you and your mama, because I want to make sure you have everything you need and most of what you want. You understand that, don't you? What's the other reason? Okay, I'll tell you right now. The other reason is because when, I, when you get older and you grow up, I don't want you ever to work like I do. But why? Hey, you know what, sweetheart? Sometimes we just have to do things that we don't understand or we don't like. Okay, and we have to trust that if something's important to Daddy, he knows what's best for us. Okay, can you do that? Okay. I love you very much, okay? And this is just going to be for a little while, and then I'm we're all together, okay? We're ready, Sonny. All right, um, you go, Johnny. i got to talk to your mother for a second. Okay? Come on, Michael. You promise me you will be careful. I want to end this. And I want to bring you guys home. to believe it and I, ch I chose to stop arguing no 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 you intentionally deceived me you got on a damn plane carly yes oh. i got on the plane to tell michael why i couldn't go with him you should be with him no i am exactly where i belong not now we i don't I, I, yes you know what yes now yes out. now you know what i am with you and we are in this together and that means forever okay we will go to the island and we will pick michael up and we will bring him back home when all of this is over but i'm not letting you face this alone I'm not leaving you to do that. You know what? I'm not leaving you. Period. You're my husband and I'm not going anywhere. Johnny's fired. Johnny's job is to guard Letitia and Michael. It was my decision to get off the plane and Johnny and anyone else, no one was going to stop me, okay? So you're mad at me. It's fine. Be mad at me for a few minutes and then get over it, okay? What about Michael? Michael's fine. He needs to be with his mother. He needs to be with both of us. And you know what? As soon as all of this is over, we will go to him together. We took vows. Remember to stick together no matter what. Just because you're going through a rough patch does not mean... A rough patch? Is that what you think this is? I needed you to go to the island because all hell is about to break loose. So let it. Can we sit? I know what you're thinking. I know that you're thinking the last time that things got this dangerous that I panicked and I tried to force you into witness protection. I know better now. You can trust me. Okay, th this is not about trust. I trust you or I wouldn't have married you. And I'm not afraid you're going to betray me. I'm afraid you're going to get hurt or killed. I'm a survivor, Sonny. I'm a survivor just like you. And you know what? It took me a long time to get it, but I do now. No matter how many enemies you have, no matter how many times they fire shots at you, you are going to be the one standing in the end. And when all that smoke clears, I am going to be standing right next to you, so crazy in love. And that is why I'm staying. 
Because you're crazy. No, because nothing is going to happen to me. Hey. Do you think that if every time I got scared and I ran away, you think I'd be where I am? I'd be living in some trailer park right now. But I saw what I wanted and I went after it just the same as you. And now I have everything that I have ever wanted in my life. And there is no way in hell, no way that I am going to die and give it up. And there's no way I'm going to go to some island to hide. I'm fighting, Sonny, because it's what I do best. And it's just one more thing that you and I have in common. sign of activity security breach yeah okay uh, let me know if uh, anything else happens bye what's up Jason's taking care of something for him he hasn't checked in well, can you contact him not safely so we wait you get a better idea. Yeah, fake this Alcazar guy out, do exactly what he's not expecting. Well, that's a pretty good idea, I guess. I don't know. You want to go in the town? Absolutely. AJ, Jackson, Alexis. All our favorite people in one room. What should we do? Is it hard for you to see this place now that your candy boy took it away? Well, I miss it. You know, it was mine, my statement, my vision. But what really bothers me is the fact that he just gave it to his girlfriend because it, he acted like it was a toy he didn't want anymore. When Jax forced you out of here, me to see her as an error. I did give him a pretty good reason. Embezzlement is a bad idea, but don't kid yourself. Because he, he pushed you out of here to get back at me. He'll do that any chance he gets. So anyway, <clears throat> the foreman. Jax can spin a decent story when he wants to. He almost snowed me the other day. Hmm? I, 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 I caught him coming back from Alcazar's yacht. He said he was on a fact-finding mission. He wanted us to work together. Do you think he was sincere, or, or was he just setting you up against Alcazar? Well, I'm not, I wasn't going to waste my time trying to find out, because I don't trust Jax. And I never will. I don't blame you, okay, but maybe working together right That's now... That's it, would back off. Take it easy. I just want to see if Daisy want to pick up some extra money. Hey, hey, my wife's not a hooker. It's a bachelor party, nothing raunchy. Just a bunch of stockbrokers getting together, celebrating a friend's impending marriage. Hey, hey, just sit down, please. Please. We're having dinner. You're not welcome here. Now get it. I, I don't Let want any go. trouble. I don't want any trouble. I just wanted to see if, if you want to hey, pick up some extra me. money. Hey, is there a problem here? Uh, uh, lucky for you, I am a forgiving person. So forgiving, in fact, I'm about to save your life. I'm sorry, Mr. Corinthos. I didn't mean to be insulting. On the contrary, my friends and I, we think she's a great dancer. You get yourself a booking agent. She doesn't dance anymore. As a matter of fact, she wants to forget that job. Why'd you do that? Why'd you accept this help? I didn't want any more trouble. AJ, I mean, it was bad enough without me picking a fight with my brother. Look, our, our food's here. Can we just get back to our evening? The herb crusted. You know what? I want the check, okay? Just bring me the check. Is there a problem here, sir? Can we... Please get it to go. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want it to go. You know what? Here, just this hey, you, know, you know what? Just put that. Put that on my. Tab. No, do not put it on his tab. We haven't accepted your money so far. What makes you think we're going to start now? 
Stop undermining my husband. Courtney, just trying to help you, okay? If you need she me. She doesn't help. need your help. She never did. Listen. After all the hard work that I did to make this club a success, which was my idea, if you remember, I deserve to be treated better than this. But I'm willing to put this all in the past. I I'm happy for you. No more sleepless nights for you. Okay, Sonny told me that he made an offer to you to join forces with Alcazar. And maybe he wasn't ready to listen, but I think I can change his mind. But you know what? You're going to have to do something for Sonny in return. Well, I have a few words of advice for you, Carly. Your husband is an arrogant fool who thinks he's indestructible, so if I was you, I'd book myself on a nice long cruise and avoid the spectacle of Sonny's demise. You're calling my husband arrogant? Why don't you look at yourself, sitting there all smug? Oh, you, Mr. Smug and Mrs. Smug together. You know, you deserve each other. I'm a big, big fan of slapstick, but uh, this is tedious, so why don't you come get me when she's through? Sure. Yeah, why don't you leave? You know what? I tried to do you a favor. I don't know why I bothered, because you are a fool. Sonny can protect himself. He's an expert. You are the one who needed him. He doesn't need you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Where to now, Mrs. Pimentel? Um, champagne. Let's go to the hottest place in town. Okay, where do we top off tonight? Home. Okay, so we'll go and toast uh, to our future at home. Yeah. Right. And no one's gonna stop us. No. Hi. How you doing? Mm. You alright? What happened to your head? They shot into the water. And they got that close? It's okay. I took care of it. Well, I'm glad you're here. Who's she? What do you mean, who's she? She's my wife, Carly. I'm, I'm Carly. You know me. We're friends. We're, I mean, kind of, at least we were. Is that true? Yes. Look, Xander, um, you need to remember what happened on the boat. If, if my being here is messing you up, then I'll just no, go back to the Just stay right here. Tell me what you saw. And listen to him. See if it triggers anything. I found the woman. Exit passports in the desk. Alcazar has a lot of ID. Any names sound familiar? None. What about the woman? I didn't even get a chance to see her passports. Alcazar walked in. I hid. I guess the woman had tried to escape, so Alcazar had, had her locked in his cabin. And you got into the cab? Yeah, it was upstairs. That's where I found the woman. What's she look like? Dark hair, small. Is a woman in the surveillance picture? I've never seen her before. Well, she doesn't sound familiar to me, so she's beside the point. Whatever leverage Alcazar has against me, it's not her. Alcazar knows that Jason was on his yacht. Now, isn't he going to fight back? The situation is dangerous for everybody. Okay, so then why aren't you going after this guy? Are we going to sit here and wait for him to come to us? I mean, I would like to live long enough to remember who I am. Look, I don't... We can see the boat from the window. I don't understand. What's the problem? Why not get together and go take this guy out? Well, his personality hasn't changed. What was that supposed to mean? What it means is you speak without thinking. You can't see what's in front of you. What if this guy comes after your wife? Huh? Have you thought of that? Okay, we're finished here. Uh, thanks for your help. Be careful. Xander, calm down. Don't make any more stupid choices. And watch out for Elizabeth. I can't believe that they, they shot at you in the water. It was a wasted trip. Wasted trip? Jason, you put your life on the line. Thank you. At least you're safe. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to find out more no, for you. Right. Yeah. Right, you two obviously have some things to discuss. I'm going to call that night. Okay? All right. I'll be, I'll be in a second. Sounds good. Good night. Good night, sweetie.
sorry he's gonna retaliate. Probably soon. You want me to take care of him? Frightened? This place. Can... Once I can do it again, I can't... I can't make a move against Algozar until I know what kind of leverage he's got on me. I can't trust that Sonny, with my family. Sonny, we're missing something. I, you know what? I, I would have. I thought the key to all this was the woman. I could try to bet my life. I mean, he's the reason you're here at all. So it was good of me how I snuck back into the apartment, right? Do you want me to compliment you? I think I need you to tell me. All right, all right. Huh? You're good. You're good. Mm -hmm. You're so good. You're, you're the best. Mm, right. I think about that all the time. Mm -hmm. My wife, how good she is. And when she's bad, she's even better. Oh, you like it when I'm bad, huh? Yeah, I like you anyway. I can get you, I guess. Surprise me. What are you doing down here by yourself? Um, I just, I woke up and I had a million things running through my head. You know how it is. Your head's spinning, you can't get back to yeah. bed, yeah. You know, Michael's missing his first week of school and I need to get the workbooks and then I forgot that he starts swim class next week. I didn't tell them he wasn't going to be there, you know, things like that. You should make a list. <laughs> Knowing me, I'd forget where I put them, right? Tape recorder. I'd be tempted to, um, tape conversations I'm not supposed to hear. <laughs> you got a great smile. Cool, well, thank you. And I should drag you down here more often in the middle of the night. You didn't drag me. I woke up. Didn't see you there. So I came down, looking for you. Here you are. Upset. Maybe a little crying. Trying like hell to cover it up, whatever it is. What's the matter? Tell me. It's nothing. Really, it isn't. 
life and it's um it's just all in my head i held you in my arms and i felt you slipping away you were dying sunny and there was nothing that i could do to stop I was so terrified, it felt so real. The fear is real. But it was a dream. I know that. It's... I just, I get scared sometimes. I can't help it. Of course you do, because you're smart, and you know that, you know, what can happen. It won't. There are no guarantees. The, the danger is not going away. I can handle this. That, it's what it's what happens, you know. You, you you wait, you watch, you don't know what's gonna happen next. I don't want you having nightmares. I don't want you waking up terrified. Well, I've got you when I do. You can fall asleep, listen to the ocean. It's a it's a beautiful well, place. You, you, you know think that, that, you... that that my heart isn't gonna pound when I wake up a hundred miles away from you? It's so much better for me to protect you when you're on okay, the island. Okay, listen islands. to me, please listen. Listen and, and understand this, okay? Look, my worst nightmare is being separated from you. Mm, yum. Aww. No, stay right there, stay right there. It's all coming to you. Ooh, yeah. I could get used to this. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we got pancakes, right? Uh-huh. With syrup and butter, mm. made from scratch. Not the, you know, from freezer to microwave kind. No. Well, I'm sure they'll still be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and, wait till you see this thing. This is uh, Michael's masterpiece that he stuck on the fridge. Ready? No. Look at that. He is so artistic, isn't he? I mean, I can look at that. I know that, okay, I might be a little biased, but look at that. He's really good. He's good, isn't he? Is that what he wants? I mean, like a, just like. a house with trees and swings and dogs. Is that what he thinks mm -hmm. about? Him? No, he wants mommy, daddy, and Letitia. And everything else is negotiable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? Hmm. Um, what, what was your fantasy when you were a kid? Lots and lots of shoes. And a housekeeper and a really handsome husband who could cook. Ah. <laughs> I'm serious. So am I. Yeah? Yeah. So if you, if you could snap your fingers, right, and have any kind of lifestyle you wanted, what would it be? This one. So you, you trust me enough to tell me your nightmares, but you don't trust me enough to tell me your dreams. Okay, in rolling hills, in a great big house, and a veranda. You want to wear there. hoop skirts, those things like they wore in Gone with the Wind? Mm. No, in Gone with the Wind, everything burned down, and on our estate, things are going to be perfect. There's not going to be anything bad that ever happens. Mm -hmm. There's not going to be any bugs, and there's not going to be any snakes or insects or anything. What about a dog for Michael? Um, all right, he can have one that doesn't drool and doesn't shed. Any more kids? Five. Five? Yeah, and they're all going to have your dimples. Oh, really? Yeah. And the, and the girls are going to look like you? And they're going to have my sense of humor. What are you saying? I don't have a sense of humor? Well, you know, you do with me, but with everyone else, it's like, I don't know, you just walk around with a scowl on your face. Yeah? Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't look like that. Yeah, you do. You look just like it. All right, let's, let's get back to the mansion and the, and the butler. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to have a really fabulous big ballroom. So we can have Pool hall? And, stuff. and casino? Okay, Maybe hey, hey, throw hey, in hey, some, hey, uh, hey, 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 my fantasy, mine, remember? I forgot. Oh, don't do that. It's mine. <laughs>
Do you even think I'm getting out of bed? You wake me up. 